two stick cars, six seconds, uh -huh. side by side, and don't get no better than that. That's what's up. Hey guys, it's Jonathan here from Tick. Uh, got the grub worm here in the trailer. We're at Houston Raceway Park out in Texas for Texas 2K23. Uh, been a whole lot of nothing up to this point for this event, just weather issues. So we're, we're still waiting on weather today, hopefully to get our first qualifier in. Uh, of course, this is the last day of qualifying, so we may very well just get one qualifier. We'll see. Uh, rain's kind of hit and miss right now. They, everything seems to be fairly dry, but they're just trying to get the track dry and shuffling the run order around a little bit to, uh, you know, better the conditions, I guess, with the slick tire cars. So we're just waiting right now. Hopefully we can make a good pass. We, we've got our LT engine back in the car now, uh, the one that... You know, was in the car when when it got famous. I guess everybody loves the LT1. So uh, had had a couple of like wrist pin clearance issues, uh, not really clearance issues, but like wrist pin flex issues that was creating a a wear issue in our bow tie block. So instead of risking it, we just put the LT1 back in for this race. So hopefully we can get a few qualifiers. But you know, if it's one and done, you know, might be a struggle for us because we're starting soft and you know working our way back up with this engine, this cam you know, with some of the changes we made over the winter. So, just playing it by ear right now. back after our uh, first qualifying pass. Car made a good A to B lick. We put something pretty soft in it, just making sure we got down the track due to the rain, the weather conditions and stuff. Uh, so it went a 734 at 194. Uh, so that's a little bit quicker than I actually thought it'd be. Shooting for around a 750. Uh, down track, the track felt pretty sketchy still. It was trying to slip the tire a little bit in high gear. So I don't know how much more we want to put in it out the back for the next one. Hopefully we get another qualifying round today. And so we're just gonna turn it up a whole lot on the launch, try to get our 60 down, uh, chip away at it. that pops I think that's pretty skippy two stick cars six seconds uh -huh. side by side it don't get no better than that that's what's up no next number one man that's what's up not too bad sir yeah it was a good pass oh Nick got me <laughs> sorry <all right. laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty good pass. That's faster than I thought it'd be again. I guess that's the air conditions, man. This DA is crazy it's about it. Yep. Yeah. He looked like he was shot out of a cannon when yeah, he took man. off. <laughs> All right, we're here back in the staging lanes for round one of eliminations. Uh, made a good pass last night, landed us in number two qualifier to 699. Basically the same tune-up, uh, added just a little bit of power out the back. Of course, the air is even better right now. So hopefully if it you know goes down the track good, we'll get a, you know maybe a low 690 out of this pass. Uh, we're kind of here testing some of the parts for Tick too with the billet front plate and stuff like that. Uh, it's got a, a redesigned billet plate with the input speed sensor, so we wanted to, to mention that. Uh, but otherwise, just hopefully a lot of the same as last night, and then we'll creep up on it as the day goes on and gets a little warmer.
right, we're here back at the pit, uh, all second round. I think that's uh, our destiny to come to Texas 2K and, and lose in second round or just tear stuff up. I don't know what the deal is, but bad luck still. Uh, having a clutch issue, made an adjustment for the, the issue that we had in the run prior. It, it acted super tight when it shouldn't have been. And so we took some base out of it to correct that or try to you know help that. And it made the clutch so soft that trying to stage the car against the line lock, it, the clutch pedal comes all the way up to the top to even get the car to try to roll. And that's also how the line lock turns off. So basically, you know, I, I roll into the beam and the line lock's already disabled. So it just rolled right on through. Um, it is what it is, that's racing, you know, that's how it goes, but kind of disappointing. Uh, I think the car would have ran a good number. Probably would have been a 670 something pass if it had made a clean hit. and. You know, with the old LT1 in there, you know, it would have been cool to to see how fast that thing could really go now that the chassis is a lot more sorted. And, but that's for another day, I guess. Uh, we may go to the reunion race at Brayton in a couple of weeks or a month maybe. Uh, otherwise, we're, we'll be going to the F-Body Fest in uh, Louisiana uh, the weekend after the reunion. So we're going to be busy, got a few things to fix, maybe swap back to our old clutch and get back to what we know works good.